Hey everybody, this is Greg with Medical Muscle. So I'm in clinical rotations right now, and it's becoming very apparent that I have very little time to study. So any kind of procrastination that I do will negatively impact my scores because I don't have much time and I have to get a lot done. And I've noticed that there's this cycle of procrastination that I do, and I'm starting to become very aware of it. So I'll give you the scenario. It always starts the same way. So either I'm doing questions or some kind of studying, right? So I'm just doing you world questions, but any kind of questions. Doing questions. And, you know, the first few questions might be any, a topic that I know and I like and it feels good. It feels really good. I'm moving pretty quickly. And the second I get to a question that is challenging, maybe I've never seen the topic, maybe I really don't know the topic very well, maybe I forgot it completely, maybe I've never seen it. But for some reason, I need to force my brain to understand this material. It wouldn't take very long to actually sit there and study the material. It might take less than five minutes to look it up and understand it. You know, Some of these topics are pretty straightforward. But any kind of studying that I need to do that requires some heavy lifting for my brain, I have a tendency and maybe you've noticed this too. I have a tendency to go and maybe hit some social media for a second. Just be like, hey, I need a small break. One second. Before I study this, I'm going to go on Instagram. Or I'm going to go on TikTok really quick. Or YouTube. Whatever. And I go for just a second. And I end up wasting a bunch of time. Okay, You know what's going to happen. You know that you're going to spend more time than you wanted. And it's this constant cycle. Anytime things get a little challenging, a little hard, and I have to do some actual mental work, I just decide to go and uh, waste a few minutes. That turns into 30 minutes, okay? So how do I limit that, okay? What what I've had to do, and I, and I talk about this in a lot of my videos, and I think it's really important for you to do this too, is to um, limit the ability to go into these long 30 minute breaks of that are not productive. And the best way you can do this is deleting all your social media apps off your phone. I think that's just an easy one. You know, I'm, it doesn't mean that you have to delete your account and that you can't access it at some other point, but don't have easy access to apps on your phone or computer, or anything that you're working with, okay? It's just too easy to grab the phone, bam, and then you're sucked into this small screen for, you know, up to an hour. That's horrible. That's an hour that you're not studying, okay? What I recommend, and this has helped me, is yes, get rid of those apps, but I want you to feel bad if you find yourself doing this, you should have an internal discomfort. You have to have that little person in your, your, in your mind saying, hey, this is wrong, you need to stop. Because that's the only way you're really gonna stop this. You gotta feel bad about what you're doing. If you're studying, you should feel good. You should feel good. And if you're not studying, you should feel shitty. And that kind of feeling kind of helps me move forward. And honestly, when I'm done with studying or while I'm actually actively studying, my anxiety does go down. You know, I feel like I'm actually getting things done. I feel productive. I feel confident with what I'm doing. So that's something that I've observed about myself. I think you guys can figure out your own trends of how you become distracted, but it's probably going to be very similar. Um, you know, do productive things. If you actually need to take a break, go for a walk or something like that. All right, guys. Hope you guys kick butt.